the Nigerians to help the needy has never been greater. At Degia Sedaka event tagged the righteous giving in Lagos, in Bagada region, over 600 people received free medical care, food and clothing. Now, Stacey Essen of Rio Pearl International said the event was not just about providing food, clothes and healthcare assessment, but also about inspiring and fostering optimism in the community. She urged the passionate uh, Nigerians to start small-scale efforts in uh, their own communities, knowing that it would have a big impact in the future. Other speakers at the event, which was planned three months ago, said the goal was to touch lives. To me, yes, we are sharing food to people, but honestly, with the situation of things in the country now, we, we should be very, very careful with our health, our relationship with people. Yes, I know that people are here, a lot of people, over 600 persons, to take food items, which they would all take. But the word of encouragement, people taking things easy in life, that's most important to me. Like the press section, it was a very, very fantastic time. You see people praising God for who he is. They even forgot about their problems and all that. Yes, we all have issues in life. But when it comes to praise time, which I'm most particular about, is all. The Bible says God inhabits the praise of his people. When you pray, you think. You're still remembering your problem. That's why you're praying. But when you praise God, you let go. Well, we can only but trust God and pray. Well, I want to say that with what we've seen about the policy of the government now, it may look very hard now. But if we're able to follow through with what is going on, ultimately it will lead us to something very good. It's a lot of things have been, been bad in the past. And uh, to now have a correction of things, it, it can take, a, it can be very hard. It's like when you want to sharpen a knife, you know, you have to grind it and you will expect that there will be some kind of pain on the knife. But after the sharpening is done, then the knife will be good. Some of the people who received free medical care as well as food and clothes were grateful for the exchange hold on the government to take more steps to alleviate the suffering of the masses. Uh, this is Chris Chura. This is what God wants us to do, to reach out to the less privileged in our midst and uh, to help them at the point of need. And uh, that's part of the responsibility of us as Christians. You know, even the Lord Jesus Christ said we should do it. You know, that when we see people that are naked, we should clothe them. People that are poor, we should feed them. People that are homeless, we should house them. As, as we do that, we are fulfilling we are fulfilling the scripture, we are doing the gospel. Basically, it's a way to touch life. And I mean, it's God that has blessed um, everyone. And so it's a way to also give back. Because every blessing and gift comes from God above. And so whatever it is, it is the Lord that has blessed you. And you should also try and reach out to people. Well, I feel very, I feel very well and very grateful. I was homeless some years ago. And I was able to get a good accommodation through Christ the Chapel. And um, no, they really you know, changed my life, changed everything about me. And Christ Hill as a whole has blessed me. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.